Good. It still works. The whole place is gonna blow. We must return to Junks via the central factory. Let's go. Thundern, what about Egil? He'll fight Zanza to the very end. But we have our part of the bargain. Once he's gone, we're the only ones left. Let's move, everyone. Goodbye, my brother. One silent episode later. Hey everybody, our viewers here. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, well, let's just say, don't hit the fan. This time, we gotta make our escape out of Mekonis. So, upon escaping through Mekonis, Silk will be out of your party. So, I uh, could probably go down quick step, but nah. That's what I want to say, besides, well, uh, First thing, watch that cutscene. Um, I would say how much I, I was pooping and stuff, but uh, let's just say that was like the plot twist. It was, it was, it was hinted throughout the entire game that it was coming. In fact, going through these cutscenes since I had my mic off, I have been muttering "Zanza" to myself, and well, all that all that foreshadowing has led up to that moment. And then it really paid off. Now then, coming forward, last chance to get your your cyclist you need to do here. Any monsters and such, because, well, we gotta get the hell out of here. Now, if I had anyone complain about this part, it's like, um, you would expect there to be, to, to be explosions around the central factory. There is not. It's a pacifist. Nothing much is going on, but we gotta make our escape out of here. So let's go continue on along this long bridge. Oh boy. That was quite the long cutscene. Yeah, I was like, no words are needed for that. So, we gotta go make our way up these stairs. Last gen needs animal words if you want. I personally don't need them because, well, uh, raisins. So, let's go ahead around these edges and let's go make our way out. So, so fast travel is disabled, but we should have all locations, right? Yep, we have all locations here. So we are done with the Conus. So let's go make our way back to Junks. Be careful you don't fall off. It's a long way back. And the industrial fan is still going on. Real shame if you were chopped on two million pieces. So yeah, another thing before I forget since while I was silent during the last episode during the main of the fight, you cannot lose that one. If you if you would die, you'd be down to one HP and you cannot die that way. Little tidbit. But Let's go head on through through the store, and well, let's tell Miko, get us the hell out of here. Looks like it's all over. Yep, I knew, even though I wasn't there. I want to thank you for what you did for did for my son, but we have to escape here first. Shall we go back to the village? Get us the hell out of here. Stubborn mortals. So desperate to cling to your pathetic lives, even when there is no hope for you! Don't you ever give up! They will judge me not in life, but death. Both our worlds. You must succeed. 
Lady Maine. Not getting away. Dixon! Listen, it's over. Time for you all to return to the Bionis. Nice and quietly. That's enough! Why, Dixon? What made you like this? Shulk looked up to you, respected you. Dixon! Don't let Zanza control you! Wake up! You can quit your belly aching. I'm in total control. I've always been like this, ever since long before any of you lot were born. Before we were born? Now you get it. It's just like Eagle said. I'm Lord Zanza's disciple, Dixon of the Trinity! Alright, so, we have ourselves a battle against... Sereni Telethia. Sereni Telethia is a um, interesting battle, to say the least. You, ha you have a long ways. Well, it's a cutscene battle. So let's go ahead and try to bash this guy in. Sereni Telethia is a powerful Telethia. He uses Kill Shot. Inflicts Ether down, so be careful in that front. And Ether, ether Particles, so probably shouldn't be a good idea to have Ryan in the party since, well, he's not the best against Ether users. And Killer Sky. Flick Stopple. And Ryan is down. Ryan, can you get back up, please? Nah. Okay. So using Killer Shot. Yeah. Well, not today, good sir. And he's using an using Soul Ren. So now, Ether Moves will be missing. Well, Physical Moves will be missing. Ether Moves, if you have any, they will be hidden still. Um, can we get some Fendi, please? Yeah, yeah, no, we're not getting anywhere. Next up, Burst Animus. Find an Art Seal. Camera, can you work for me, please? Killer Sky. Mega Ether Particles. You waste of space. Not so tough without Shulk, eh? Stupid beast. You should be grateful. Not everyone has a war buddy like me to lead them along. Tasted good, didn't they? The victory drinks we used to share. I'll kill you! What? Who was that? Show yourself! Melia, are you alright? Brother! Kalyan! Dixon! He works for the Bionis! He shot Shulk in the back! Is this true? Dixon? This ends here. Your Telethia are no match for our Havrez squadron. You cannot win! Maybe you should be concentrating on your own people instead of barking at me. <gasps> Looks like you've forgotten your destiny. Right? Lorathea? Lorathea? Are you involved in this as well? Your Highness, 
Your naivety is quite charming, but it is also your undoing. <laughs> I had much fun playing with you and your father. What? What is this light? Ether particles emitted so that the Bionis can be destroyed and reborn. <laughs> what do you get if you cross high concentrations of ether with high entia? N no, you wouldn't. Lorothea! Awaken, my darling pet! Understand, child. This is the reason why High and Tear are born. Do not blame poor old me. Explain yourself. It's just like she says. The High and Tear are a race created by Lord Zanza to eliminate any annoying life forms in the preparation for the rebirth of the Bionis. Their bodies contain a gene that, when the time comes, transforms them into Telethia. <laughs> It can't be. Say it isn't so. Melia, it is true. That is why you are our only hope. Brother? Whatever. We won't be needing a half-breed like you anyway. I mean, if you don't turn into a Telethia, it just means you're gonna get crushed by one. That's the only thing you're good for. <gasps> Rise up, pet. Do my bidding. Kill your lovely sister. Brother! Brother! Just hold on. I'll find a way to save you. Me Melia. So sorry. I always placed such a heavy burden on you. Don't say such things, brother! But at least I can still shoulder the destiny of our people. The burden meant for you brings a tear to my eye. These moments are to be treasured. <gasps> How? Brother! Melia! Father's wish and the future of the High Entia are in your hands, yours and Shulk's. <gasps> Telethia, destroy him! Dixon! I got it. Too late! Damn him! 